Hey, what's up guys, Winston here. And today we'll be taking a quick look at the Cougar GEX X2 1000 watt modular power supply. The GEX X2 is a fully modular power supply that comes with flat power cables and a certified 80 plus gold, giving you an extremely high power efficiency. It also features a powerful 12 volt single rail at 83.3 amps, giving you a maximum total output of 1000 watt. It's more than enough for most enthusiasts uh, to power their latest gaming systems. It supports the latest ATX3 and PCI5 standards and features the new 16 pin power connector supporting all of the latest next gen graphics cards such as Nvidia's high end GeForce RTX 40 series. At only 140mm in length, the GX X2 is one of the most compact, fully modular power supply on the market, making it ideal choice for most system builders. Additionally, it comes with an exclusive 120mm silent fan that offers good airflow, silent operation and uh, low vibration. We'll be testing this power supply in our test rig, which is comprised of an Intel Core i9-1300K along with a GeForce RTX 3090. So uh, let's begin, but before we do that, let's uh, do a quick unboxing and uh, we'll see you in a bit. Alright, let's do a quick unboxing of the Cougar GEX X2 1000 watt power supply. Uh, comes with a 7 year warranty. It also has the 80 plus gold certification, supports ATX3 and also PCI5 standards and come with the new 12 VH PWR 16 pin power connector for all your latest next gen graphics cards. All right, let's take a look inside the box. Okay, first off, we have the power cord that goes to the wall. Got some uh, screws there to mount your power supply and a uh, cable strap. And then we have the instructions there, GX X2. Here we have the flat modular power cables. We'll take a look at that in a sec. And inside here we have the actual power supply. And that's wrapped up in this nice cloth protection. All right. And here we have the actual power supply. Very compact. We'll take a closer look at the power supply in a sec. Let's have a look at the cables first. First off, we have the 24 pin ATX power connectors. And um, yeah, we got one of these. This end goes to the PSU. And then we have this one goes to the motherboard. Right. We have two of the uh, PSU to CPU uh, cables. So uh, two of these then uh, will go to the motherboard. And the other end will go to the uh, power supply. I right, need two of these. Next up, we have the uh, PCI-5 16-pin power connectors. This is the uh, 12 VHP WR. Um, yep, these are for the next-gen graphics cards, such as the, the GeForce RTX 40 series from NVIDIA. So you got one of these as well. Next up, we have three, one, two, three, yep, three PCI connectors, power connectors for PCI devices and all graphics cards. So you've got three of them there. And finally, we have uh, three, yep, three of the SATA power connectors and also Molex connectors there uh, to connect up all different devices for storage and things like that. All right, so these are the cables. Um, let's take a look at the power supply. All right, here we have the power supply itself. It's a very nice compact power supply, to be honest, um, for a thousand watt. And uh, let's have a look at the connectors first. Okay, we have the usual uh, motherboard connectors there for your ATX, 24 pin ATX. Then these are the connectors then for the motherboard as well. And you have uh, three connectors here for your PCIe, um, power devices and graphics cards. And here's the 12 VHP WR for your 16 pin PCIe 5 uh, for supporting all the latest graphics cards uh, there. And then we have three more of the SATA and uh, Molex power connectors there. All right, you have a 120 millimeter fan in there with silent operation, so very nice. Um, there's no zero fan switch though, but it's just got the power on and off, and also 
usual lead there for your mains powers. All right, let's take a look at the labeling and spec. Got the Cougar GX X2 1000 watt, and you can see there's the uh, a single 12 volt rail at 83.3 amps, giving you a total output of 1000 watt. All right, so uh, we'll be mounting this onto our test rig, which uh, will be comprised of an Intel Core i9 1300K processor, along with a, a nice uh, GeForce RTX 3090, and also a Z790 motherboard from Asrock. All right, so this is a quick unboxing of the Cougar GX X2 1000 watt power supply. When it comes to power supply, it's important to have stability at full load. And I've said many times, having a stable 12 volt line is the key. During our test, we used an Intel Core i9 13900K, which has a default DDP of 125 watts and a whopping 250 watts during turbo boost, along with a GeForce RTX 3090 with a total board power of 350 watts approximately. The total power consumption at full load was well over 600 watts just for these two components. From our full load tests, all three voltage lines dropped, albeit ever so slightly. The 12 volt line dropped to around 11.904 volts, while the 5 volt line dropped to around about 4.96 volts. And lastly, for the 3.3 volt line, it dropped from 3.32 volts to around about 3.312 volts. These drops are very minute, so I'm not too worried about that. In the end, I'm more than happy to say that this power supply should be able to handle most high end components at full load. All said and done, the Cougar GEX X2 1000W is a solid power supply that uses 100% Japanese capacitors and comes with an 80 plus gold certification. It supports the latest ATX3 and PCIe 5 standards for next gen graphics cards. What's more, it's compact and fully modular, making it perfect for system builders and gamers alike. You can check out the full review on our website at fuckit.com. And there you have it. That was a quick look at the Cougar GEX X2 1000 watt modular power supply supporting the latest ATX3 and PCI 5 standards. An extremely stable and compact power supply suitable for most enthusiasts and system builders out there. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like and leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy this via the links in the description. And of course, visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Oh yeah, don't forget, hit the subscribe button for more. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkyKid.com.